presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in and keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Surrender. Let go of the past. This is a great card. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 46, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's off 2.5. Gold, gold contract up $12.60, traded at 1950 an ounce. You get silver up eight cents, twenty-two dollars thirty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck twenty-seven, seventy-eight dollars forty-four cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note flat, one hundred seven thirteen. The thirty-year down six ticks at one thirteen oh six. And King Dollar, King Dollar is trading down two hundred and thirteen ticks at one hundred five six forty-eight. Euros at 107, yens trading at 151 British pounds at 122 to 1 US dollar. We got our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, Friday had a big day. You took the B point out. You took it out with volume inside the SPY. You're trading 440. You got a 462 A to B equals C to D, folks, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty bizarre, but the bottom line is that's what it is, and your all-time high out here is the 479. So the next stop is 462. We went to the Qs, NDX 100, same type of setup. You get another ABC structure up on the, on the Qs. What you have with the Qs, the Qs are trading at 377. That's a 402.42. You can see it blew it away, blew it away with volume. You had the wide price spread. You had the accelerated volume. What we did out here today is that uh, bottom line is that you, uh, we go back over to the, uh, well, the Qs rejected 375.24. It's a small day in the Qs. Spy is a little bit different, man. The Spy, you know, was down, we were down about 19, 20 points, I believe. Um, yeah, you rejected uh, 438, and we're at, uh... oh, no, no, I see what's going on. Yeah, well, that's I, that's because I'm trading pre-market, folks. Okay, the futures were down that. So, ES, let's bring that up, okay. They just brought up the SPY, and, of course, the SPY wasn't the same as the futures. So when you bring the futures up, we were down at 4407, and right now you're at 4429. Gets down there, rejects lower price, and what you have here, you know, it's just slowly making it over, you know, this consolidation. And this is a tough consolidation right here, man. It's going to take a lot to get it over it, but the bottom line, it's it's going for it. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market, and this is what's going to help it. Bottom line is you're back down in the 10-year and the 30-year. You rejected lower price, and you can see the differential in the volume out here today in a monster way in the note and bond market. So what you have out here, you have the 10-year... Uh, bottom line, we got down to the 107. You rejected it. You're at 107.12. And if you want to hear a stat, folks, this is like a crazy stat. Listen to this, man. I was doing this last night. Okay. So everyone's worrying about people buying our bonds, right? Well, check this out, man. We paid October 1st for October. We paid 88.9 billion in interest on our debt, right? 
Now that's 87% more than last October. Now that being said though, guess what? Because we collected so much money in tax, <laughs> it's actually the, the de deficit, okay, which you have to worry about is down 24% which is a total mind blower, okay? But that's how it is. And then if you take all our debt, folks, all the U.S. debt, the bottom line is you're at a 3.05%. That's, that's where we're at. Could you imagine if they, um, I mean, you know, they should have pushed out so many bonds at 0%. It'd be amazing. But 3.5 is better than I thought, actually. Let's go to my man Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tommy, this afternoon? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing good. A little chilly up here. I, I've been, you know, it's so funny. We're having a big O'Brien reunion this weekend, and so I've been checking it out, and I, and I am so happy that, you know, today it's freezing, folks, but it's going to get 50 uh, on Friday, so that's when we're coming yes, in. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, Pfizer, right? Yes. Where is this going, Tommy, finally? Did you buy it yet? Are you still waiting for that? No, no, no. no. I know. You're waiting for that low. Still I remember waiting. it. Listen, man, that's you got to wait for that low, but you're getting right next to it. It's high, it's high. Listen, man, it's hard to comprehend because I remember the last time you called and it's like, man, are you really going to this low? And it is. You know, we're at the 29.04, that 24.42 wants to get hit, man, which is a mind blower, man, particularly, you know, because, you know, not all these drug companies, but these drug companies have been on fire with, you know, the Ozempic and... You know, just other, you know, cancer treating drugs that they're coming up with. So not quite sure what the problem is with Pfizer, but I would just let it stay there because you need a good rejection. What, what you need is this. I wouldn't buy it on just the rejection of lower price costa. The reason being is that this has been such a downdraft. So you'd let it reject lower price if that's what it's going to do. Then, you know, you're probably going to have to wait maybe three, four weeks, you need a sign of strength after that. Then you buy the retracement. Because that would show that there's larger institutions that are coming in at that point. You know, you can see when you're looking at my chart, though, there is, you know, this is traded here twice, and both times, you know, the first time going all the way back to what, that's 2017, we traded there, and then you had a streak going from the 24 up to the 44, then you came back down to the 24, and then the last one was a big one. You know, we went from 24 all the way up to the 60 bucks. So I just let it get there first, man. Okay, Tommy. Okay, you have a great one, safe one, and stay Thank warm, you. brother. Take care. Okay, man. Thanks so much. The uh, so let's go look at this dollar because the dollar DXY. This baby, you know, it's in the higher range right now. It's not going to take much for it to get in the lower range again. Um, you know, we'll see. Yeah, you're only 565 is the lower range. Right now you're at 623. That's the, that's the 637. That's the last three numbers. That's what I'm giving you. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rose. We're going to be talking markets out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 67. NASDAQ uh, down 8. S&P's flat. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 70. The Nasdaq is down 9. S&P is a flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side, Mastering Probability. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. Six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of one hundred ninety nine dollars or twenty two percent in one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars or thirty three percent. Now they all come with a thirty day money back guarantee, folks. Okay, so as you're coming over here, there's no reason that you can't get a year, six months. If it works for you, awesome. They, Steve has a huge amount of indicators that as soon as you get this newsletter, you're gonna basically get all of Steve's indicators also. So it's a plus plus all around. If for some reason the newsletter doesn't work for you, 28th day, just cancel it. You're still going to understand the indicators he has and you're going to have a great newsletter for the month. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Hey, I love that. I, th I think that was one of the four agreements cards that you were reading or is that a different card? No, that was the four agreements. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love that card. You Isn't know, it? It's a beauty, man. And it's it, so it hard to do, but it's a beauty. Because once you start doing it, you know, it's just like your, you know, life yeah. works for us. I mean, it, it's a fact. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, each and every day, you know, when I start the show, um, you know, I, I suggest that people not become prisoners of their past. Right. Like pioneers of their future, right? So it's really the exact same. We're very similar. Yes. There's some different language, you know, about it. And, but when it comes to trading and investing, it's like the number one thing you've got to do. <sighs> that it definitely right? is. <laughs> right? We're yeah. all going to get into a trade that goes south or what have you, hey. you know? And if you let that just sit there, it's going to be hard to take that next trade. No but, doubt, man. No know? doubt. So it, it's great because it just works like that for everything in life. And, you it, know, especially, you know, you and I, you know, we've got a number of grandkids, you know, let alone our children and so yep. forth. And you can just see how, you know, it's just so important. I'm sure with the grandkids, you're having a blast, you know, keeping them empowered. You yes. Know, and just, you know, it's, you know, that. Yeah, so I, I think it's it's a great card. I love when you I love when you read those cards. No, because because as specific. Steve does, folks, uh, you know, and you know, I haven't seen per Steve personally in a while, but when he was here, we used to go out golfing and have some fun. Yeah. Um, and 
the attitude is the name of the game, man. I mean, a good attitude, folks, can bust you through anything. I mean, exactly. And yeah. and it can. Yeah. I mean, I could give you a million, you know, times it's happened, and and I'm sure you have them too. It's just it's just all, you, you got to be tenacious, man, and yeah, keep the, the attitude the there. And you can change everything, man. It's so weird, yeah, man, yeah, that up, I really believe up. you can change it. So it's like, okay, yeah. it is what it is. You know, you only believe what you believe. So it's like, okay, man, that's, you for know. Sure. <laughs> for sure. Hey, look, some of my worst golf shots turned into some of the best golf shots. How cool I, is I, that? I've, I've, I've scored eagles, you know, from be, you know, from places that there's no way that it should have happened. That is a, cool. And a par four, you know, sinking yep. it from, the, uh, from behind the trees or, or wherever it is. So, sure. You know, I just have this belief that we're where we're supposed to be. And then you've got to take that positive frame of a mind and, and you know, move forward. So yeah. um, anyway, so I love I love that card. So look, last week when we were together, we were discussing the question of, uh, you know, has the are the equity markets uh, topping? Are they going to get ready yeah. to top out there? So I thought we'd follow up on that a bit. And last week, what we were looking at, folks, we were looking at the New York Stock, the New York Stock Exchange, the Advanced Decline Oscillator. Now, the Advanced Decline Oscillator, what that does, folks, is that takes the Advanced Decline line, and it shows us the difference between the 19 and the 39-day exponential moving average. I won't go into the detail as to why I use that, but those are really important exponential moving averages out there. It's a second panel out here where it says advanced decline oscillator that we're taking a look at. And when it gets above plus 150, it tells us that we are in an overbought condition. Now, an overbought condition does not necessarily mean that the market is topped. It might just mean a short-term top, but does not necessarily mean that the market has topped. And, and since then, uh, the uh, the overbought condition has been uh, worked off. And and we can see here, now this was a snapshot from maybe about a half an hour ago, that advanced decline oscillator that I've got a little red line. It's a zero line that's out there. I see it. And yep. the simple meaning of that, Tom, and, and everybody listening, is when price is above that, it tells us that, generally speaking, buyers are the ones in control. And when price is below that, a zero threshold line, it tells us that sellers. Now, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but that's the basic general meaning that most people could uh, could go with out there. So during the last three years, though, whenever, and we talked about this last week, whenever that advanced client oscillator closes above the plus 150 level, so again, we're looking at that uh, second panel out here, that the way that the New York Stock Exchange has formed its top is when prices moved higher. So we're looking at these uh, folks, and we're looking at these green uh, diagonal lines on top of price that shows price going higher. But when you start taking a look at the uh, the area below that advanced client oscillator, what we see is a falling tops pattern out there. So right now what we need to see is we need to see price get above that high that was formed out here, with uh, which is uh, 15 475.19. So that's a level that we're watching. If price can close above that, and we still have these declining tops. That's at least the pattern that's been associated with tops inside at least the New York Stock Exchange or the general market at that stage. So that's still something that we're looking for. However, this is a however. If we take a look at the daily cash indices out here, and this is, again, a snapshot from earlier, what we'll see out here is one of the patterns that you reference, one of the indicators or tools that I use, is the TD9 count pattern. And here, if we take a look at the NDX100, it's going to complete a TD9 count top today, as is the NASDAQ composite. Now, when you take a look at the other indices, we don't have that, uh, we don't have that indication yet. But the NASDAQ can certainly drive markets lower. And what that suggests is that we should see retracement back to the oscillator and change line. For the NDX 100, it's around the 15068 level. For the NASDAQ composite, it would be around the 13,398 area. Now, this is a table, Tom, that I uh, generated. This is one of the market analyzers, and I include market analyzers like this inside the daily and the evening uh, newsletter that I put out here. But this is a scan of the entire NDX 100. And what this shows us is that 28% of the instruments inside the NDX 100 either have or are likely to form TD9 count tops. So that's a pretty decent indication. And when you take a look at this chart, it suggests that price would pull back to this column here that says daily oscillator and change line out there. Now, if we take a look at the top 10 holdings in the index 100, those represent 52% of the weighting. And here we've got seven of those instruments, or 41.6% of the weighting, that are going to form these TD9 count tops between today and tomorrow out there. Here's Apple I've got uh, down here. In the case of Apple, we'd be looking for price to pull back again to its oscillator and change line. So if anybody was copying this, uh, they could take a look at those potential trades. Here's an example of a, of, of, of a trade here. Here's a failed pattern. This is Costco. And last Friday, Costco confirmed a TD9 count top 
But what it also did is it passed the B point with volume, and it created the A to B equals CD. So Costco is likely going to make a move up to at least 577.89. I say at least because this retracement was less than, was about a 0.382 retracement. Apple's going to confirm that TD9 count top today. Take a look at the last two tops inside of Apple. TD9 counts. So we're going to get that same pattern today, and price should pull back to the 179.27 area out there. Again, uh, folks, uh, here are all of the instruments with inside the NDX 100, and I'll give you a quick trade potential. Those folks that want to go short, take a look at AMAT. Because in the case of AMAT out here, it's got a nice move down to about that 141.38 level, and the stop would be just a close above Friday's high. Folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You just saw a glimpse of a couple of the indicators that he used. Come over to our website at TFNN. Newsletters on the right-hand side. You get Mastering Probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Down Dash is up 70, Nasdaq's down 13, SP's a flat. And uh, we take a look at what's going to get uh, so. Calendar-wise, folks, what this is, is we have the CPI tomorrow at 8.30, you get the retail sales Wednesday at 8.30, and you get the PPI Wednesday at 8.30. Okay, so they're, that's, they're, they're market-moving events, there's no doubt about it. We'll see where it shakes out. Uh, you know, my take is that we're on ABC structures on the way up, because you had both of them basically take out the B point, took it out with volume. 
it's the most deviant thing that the market can do right now. <laughs> and uh, when you stop putting that all together, uh, and, and the biggest the, the biggest take is this note and bond market. The note and bond market wants higher price. The dollar wants lower price. So when you start putting that together, it's like, okay, we're going higher. We got to take a look at the uh, Harmony. So Harmony, uh, this is a big one because when Harmony makes money, it can make money hand over fist. Now, Harmony came out with their numbers last night. The low for the year is 290, the high is 543. That's trading at 472 right now. And, you know, what happens with these South African um, equities, folks, okay, they, you know, Harmony does, I think, 1.3 million ounces a year. So uh, Harmony, uh, let's see, backed its full year guidance after the first quarter production um, rose on higher output and most of its operations. Okay, the South African company Monday said it produced 7% more gold in the three months of September 30th versus the preceding quarter. So they did 425,130 ounces compared to 395,520. Um, it's a big number, folks. Okay, now this gets really interesting, okay, because they're all in sustaining cost, okay, is 1404. Now, for South African equity, gold equity, that's pretty good. Because you got to understand something. This is what's so amazing about this. Is that these mines are down miles. So they've been digging gold for over 100 years. And that's how deep it is. And normally what ends up happening, I've seen this number way over 1,400. Um, you know, but you can see if you're now what all in means, all in sustaining means that you're not only going to get the gold out of the ground, but then you're going to put so much aside to basically fix that mine later. Now, in South African <laughs> talk, I'm not quite sure what that is because how do you fill up, um, you know, three to four miles down in, in the earth? I, I don't know. But bottom line is that this, this is a big number. So now their total production is going to be 1.38 million to 1.48 million. Now watch what also happens here. This is where this gets interesting. Uh, ZAR. We go to the RAND. No, let's see. Okay, so you go to the RAND dollar, and what comes out here is that we're trading 18 RAND dollars to one U.S. dollar. Okay. And then let's go back to Harmony just for a second because this is this is where they really clean up. So you have Harmony. Bottom line is that they got 38,000 employees, right? So what happens, folks, is that they get paid. What happens in South Africa in general? No, it does happen in South Africa. When you even get paid in cash, you have to transfer it into rand. I, I believe it's within 60 days. Bottom line is that as the the rand, okay, this is a very weak rand and has been. Now I expect what you, we're going to see if the dollar goes lower, this also will basically get stronger, okay? But at this particular point, you're going to see you're up at the 1870 area. So what happens is that those 38,000 employees, right? How many gets paid in cash? And then has to pay their expenses in rand. And just to give you an idea of you know the flexibility there, you know just six months ago, um, well no, it's a year ago. Yeah, no, no, two years ago, you were at thirteen to one. Now you're at eighteen to one. When you start doing the numbers on that, it turns into it's called a rearing. That's what they call it. It turns into monster money, man. So that's. That's good news for South African mines because uh, the bottom line is that those things, they were in a, on a give up situation, you know, a good 10 years ago. There's no doubt about that, you know. So we'll see where it does shake out. Uh, if we take a look at uh, Franco Nevada, FNV, this still has problems and this has problems on, you know, the, you know, the uh, Panama deal. You know, so what, what is also happening inside of the gold market right now is that there's, there's, there's these jurisdictions that hadn't been risk, well, they're always risk, but it hasn't been big risk in the past that turned into major risk. And one of them 
you know, and I brought this up plenty of times, is Mag Silva. This one here is just insane, actually. You know, and I can understand why, because what ends up happening, the new laws in Mexico, they can basically take this mining concession away from you pretty quickly. Now, what you had with Meg Silva, this was, this was one of the strongest gold stocks there was, okay? And now it's, it just can't move. I mean, you know, the way it's looking, it's almost looking like me, you know, you're 969. Um, it looks pretty tough, man. I mean, it has a high volume low. I don't even want to say it. Down at uh, like 384. You know, and the problem is the only mine that they have is in Mexico. But you can see the expansion of revenue was huge, man. I mean, you know, 2020 they did 15 million. Last year they did 460. They're looking to do 478. The problem is, is that the way that new law is structured, that they can pull back 10 to 15 years of the license ASAP. That's the first part. The second part is they can really just do almost anything they want. And that is a huge problem. Now, yeah, granted, we go through courts and all that, but that's a whole new bottom line for Mexico, okay? You know, and we'll see the, uh, what does end up happening, because I believe that they're coming up with elections too next year. So this is where, when you do put together the election cycle, versus where you're investing, <laughs> uh, you know, it, it could get really, uh, there could be some opportunities out there. Because the, out of the, all the gold stocks that I do cover, you know, I, now I don't have a lot of these uh, exploration stocks in Mexico, which they, they trade a lot of them up in Canada, right? Those things have got spoked beyond belief, the exploration stocks. Because what happens at, at the law, folks, is that you can put your flag in the ground, meaning you get the permit, but if you don't put any money into the um, infrastructure within two years, they can take it away immediately. And an exploration stock is not going to be putting money into one of their mines within two years. It's almost impossible, okay, because you have to get, you know, you want to get a scoping, you want to get your numbers together, you need, I mean, you want to drill a few holes, you know. so. I think there's going to be further problems there. That's what it looks like to me. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 71. Nasdaq's down 16. S&Ps are off one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 64. Nasdaq's down 18. S&Ps are off 2.5. And, and don't forget, folks, our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, he's going to be doing a live trading event for you coming this Wednesday, only two days from now. 8 a.m. to noon. Larry's done, been doing, this I think, I believe, the sixth one he has. This is only, it's $295, folks. Now, when you get for the $295, you not only get the live trading event that you're looking over Larry's shoulder for four hours, and you can trade what he's trading, um, uh, but the bottom line, you also get his newsletter, and his newsletter alone is $149. So you're going to get a newsletter for a full month. You're going to get some great education. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. That is going to be from 8 in the morning to noon this coming Wednesday. So big deal out here. Uh, Supreme Court. Okay, so the Supreme Court, uh, this is the big news of the day. Like, it makes a difference, right? The bottom line is the Supreme Court. Well, let's see, where is it? Here it is. Supreme Court, yeah. So the Supreme Court decided to adapt a code of conduct. Uh, but check it out. Hey, this, this, this is like a joke, folks, okay? This is why I can see so many people have flipped out about government sometimes, okay? Because the bottom line is that you got, you got supposedly a code of conduct. And inside of this code of conduct, uh, the bottom line is no enforcement or complaint mechanisms. <laughs> you know, so it's like what they're trying to do, what they are doing, and, and they're, they're going to be successful at it. They just headed off Congress. You know, you know uh, Justice Thomas there, he's been on the feed for like so long, it's like pretty amazing, man. It's just give it every uh, every six to eight weeks you'll see a new article out there about uh just how his troth you know how many of these billionaires put the troth right in front of him and he just keeps eating it up in a monster way so i suspect uh hey it's not going to change anything you know uh or if it does the bottom line is he you know a few well I, him in particular has got away with uh like <laughs> it's just amazing what he's actually got away with um Okay, so now let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what we got out here. So inside the Dow, putting points into it, you got Boeing 57, Caterpillar 16, Walmart 12, 22. That's positive. Taken away from it is Home Depot minus 24, Microsoft minus 19, Nike minus 11. We go into the NDX. We take a look at the NDX. Oh, look at the, uh, cut the loose at the car company's up 5%. Forget it, man. That's, yeah, up 5% after being down 95. Dexcom's up 4.5%. Tesla's up 4 And you got CrowdStrike up 2.5. Now, take it away from it. You got Illumina down 5.8. You got uh, American Electric off three, Walgreens Boots is off three, and eBay is off 2.6. Uh, let's look, let's take a look at Eli Lilly because this, there's no doubt these these weight loss drugs, folks. Okay, are changing everything pretty quickly here. So if we take a look at Eli Lilly. 
Look at that scale. My God. Just in one, so in one year, it went from 309 to 629. Revenue, they are looking for, yeah, it bumps them up. They're looking for another $5 billion next year over this year. So they did, they're doing $33.6 billion this year. They're looking for $38.9 billion next year. Big numbers, man, you know, and what has happened is that the, it seems that uh, these, these drugs actually help more than just with the eating aspect. They're helping people that uh, do have heart conditions. That's, that's the MO out here. So um, it's going to be a big, it is a big drug. It's going to be a bigger drug. The real question is how long can they keep the price structure up? But I suspect that they're going to keep that up for quite a while. Um, and they're big enough that the aspect of that, Let's see, General Mills. Let me. General Mills. Hmm. Well, probably General. I, I bet General Mills was bought by someone else, right? <laughs> yeah, more than likely. Oh no, no, it's still there. Okay. So if we look at General Mills, let's let's take a look at this. So this is trading low for the S60, the high is 90. These food companies have been coming out yeah, this, this, with warnings that uh, this, is, this is pretty amazing, actually, that they have it together that dramatically, that they're going to be selling less of their packaged goods, and they think that this is going to go on for at least a couple different companies think a couple different things, but when you're talking about year and a half to two years, because they don't think the peak in the Ozempic and then these other drugs that are out here and will be out here won't peak until that level. And they're trying to figure out how much more of their junk food that folks won't eat. Because what happens, folks, is that, you know, you not only do take off the weight, but you take off the weight because you're eating less. You know, so I don't know what's in those drugs. Um, you know, if we go back to, you know, the 50s, <laughs> in the 60s, uh, the bottom line is that, you know, there were speed pills, right? <laughs> First it was speed pills, then it was something else, then they're selling them over the counter. You know, there's always something. But it seems like this particular drug is uh, good for a lot more than just taking off weight. And they, you know, the bottom line is if you have heart conditions or if you're overweight and you have too much water in your heart, all those things can, you know, do you under, do you under, do you under pretty quick. So, uh, the food companies are going to end up getting hit, and they're just trying to figure out how how much you're getting hit. But you can see when they come out with warnings like that, just how attuned they are to the marketplace. I mean, they're attuned like beyond belief that every single bar that we own, that we buy, they want to make sure that you not only buy it, and uh, you know, you you buy it again and again and again. So. Pretty wild, no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities that we do have uh, trading out here today. So you have Tesla's up nine bucks. You got uh, Apple's down a buck and a half. Nvidia's up five. Nvidia's out there saying that they're going to get an upgraded process. So now, what's going to be interesting about that is that, of course, Nvidia is the leader in the film and the and the deal and these other. Chip companies are coming out saying, well, they're going to have something better. Well, we're going to find out because NVIDIA has a high volume high, and that's what it's going for right now. We're at 488. It's 502. That's going to get hit, you know. And that's, that's a real high volume high, man. So um, what's also happening, let's look at this. Uh, see, this is cool, man. NVIDIA is coming out with their numbers after the close on the 21st. So what you can get is that, that that you know that high volume high has the chance of being another high volume high because it could just blow that baby away so we'll see where it shakes out but the high volume high is on its way to get tested right now dow dow industrial is up 59 nasdaq down 15 s&p's are down two stay right there folks come right back
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. At Dow. Dow Industrial's up 45, NASDAQ down 27, S&P's up 4.5. Now listen to this number, man. This is a trip. Uh, Thanksgiving travel in the U.S. is going to hit post-COVID high. Uh... Thanksgiving travel is shaping up to be the busiest since 2019. Uh, AAA is expecting 5.4 million Americans to travel 50 miles or more. Uh, now, on top of that, listen to this. This makes the third highest Thanksgiving travel and records going back to 2000. As many as 41.1 uh, million Americans are expected to drive, an increase of 1.7%. But on top of that, air travel is going to reach the highest since 2005, despite the increased fares. And they've, they've increased fares, man. I mean, there's no doubt. Um, big numbers, man. You know, people spend their money. So it's going to get interesting there, you know, particularly when we get the uh, retail sales out, is that the retail sales, okay, which is on the 15th, um, you know, those might be going up too, man. We'll see where it shakes out. But that is some big, big numbers, folks. Okay, so folks are still spending money. I mean, the air, the airfares alone, the airfares and these extras that they add on to the airfares is just unbelievable. I mean, they're still getting away with uh, just highway robbery. There's no doubt. Um, they should be making a lot more money. In fact, uh, it's it's amazing that they haven't because when you get on the the planes. You know, you're, you're in like cattle, 
right? Yeah, see this, I mean, these, these airlines, man, don't ever buy an airline because if we know what the prices are right now, like look at American Airlines, you're $24, man. You know, last high that was up here was 68 or 88. Yeah, 88. And they can, you know, putting all of that, they still can't make money. That's pretty intense. That's really. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Don't forget about man up, Larry Pesavento. He's going to be doing a live trading event for you. It's going to be 8 to noon this coming Wednesday. It's only $295, and that includes a news, his newsletter for a full month. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.